Assalamu alaikum. Today again we will discuss about uh, MRI and CT. Uh, today uh, a little uh, things on infotentorial anatomy, how to read an infotentorial anatomy of an MRI and CT. This is surely a very important thing for the radiologist, the new students and the new doctors. I hope it will be very useful for you and if you have any question feel free to ask me feel free to email me uh, I will try to uh, upload a new videos for you to make it clear when we do an MRI or CT look we started from the base of the skull and it goes from up and up and up you can see the last picture is nearly to the vertex so we read the MRI and CT from the base of the skull then it goes to the up in between this we make a slice already we have discussed that uh, the slice uh, in a, a, a for the adult is a different millimeter for the babies different millimeters for easier to read we divided the anatomy in some parts today we will discuss about the infotentorial anatomy so infotentorial anatomy <clears throat> this is a cerebellum if you see a cut section here you can see that uh, near the cut section uh, it will cut some structures in front of the uh, cerebellum there is a fourth ventricle then in front of the fourth ventricle there is a pons so fourth ventricle is very large in between the cerebellum and the pons if we go up then you can see the fourth ventricle become narrow if you go down you can see the fourth ventricle become narrow and if you see the brain stem structure here it is the midbrain this is the pons and this is the uh, medulla oblongata so if you make a cross section here so above the cross section the fourth ventricle become narrow and in front of that narrow part there is the midbrain and on the line of the fourth ventricle you can see in front of the fourth ventricle the wide angle you can see the pons and below the narrow you can see the medulla blanqueta so in this way if you see <coughs> the structures this is the fourth ventricle so in front of the fourth ventricle this is a very very large fourth ventricle so if you see the fourth ventricle then large then in front of that large fourth ventricle the structure is the pons and in front of the pons this black structure is called uh, prepontine cistern this is the one of the largest cistern in the brain and uh, this cistern goes laterally right and left uh, this is called <coughs> cpa cistern or uh, cerebropontine angle cistern then another name of the cerebropontine angle cistern is ambient cistern so this pons uh, is attached with the cerebellum this is right cerebellum this is left cerebellum and this is the midline of the cerebellum mid structure of the cerebellum which is called the vermis so the pons is attached with the cerebellum by some peduncle <clears throat> and we know there is three types of peduncle which attaches the brain stem with the uh, cerebellum so above one is the superior peduncle the middle one is the in middle peduncle and the lower one is the inferior peduncle inferior peduncle attach the medulla oblongata with the cerebellum the middle peduncle attached the pons with the cerebellum and the superior peduncle attach the midbrain with the cerebellum so here as it is the mid structure 
just in front of the large part of the ven fourth ventricle so this peduncle is called the middle peduncle so if you go to the MRI T1 and T2 image you can see the same things the CSA T1 is black the fourth ventricle and T2 is the white and here is another uh, special or structure you can see in the T1 image of the MRI this little tiny structure it goes from the cerebral angle to the up this is called trigeminal nerve fifth nerve fifth cranial nerve trigeminal nerve if it is compressed by the superior uh, pontine artery then the symptoms appears on the face too much pain we call it suicidal uh, pain another name is trigeminal neuralgia so in the mri or special type of ct you can see this type of uh, structure which is called the trigeminal uh, nerve cranial nerve fifth so in the <clears throat> uh, t2 mri you can see uh, the same structures so here is the fourth ventricle in front of the fourth ventricle this is the pons this is the cerebellum right left and this is called uh, this is a uh, intercerebral alar cistern <clears throat> or cistern magna so this is another big uh, cistern so in this area infotentorial anatomy we can find the fourth ventricle here is the fourth ventricle and the pons in front of the fourth ventricle the structure is the pons then the basilar artery uh, basilar artery you can see the basilar artery in the uh, ct look just in front of the pons there's a white structure small white round structure this is called basilar artery you know the vertebral artery right and left attached and form the basilar artery and it goes up this basilar artery is very important uh, structure uh, for the um, neuroanatomy so this is the prepontine cistern and this is cpa or cisto uh, or uh, angle or ambient cistern and then the trigeminal nerve so these are the structure we can see in the infotentorial anatomy so if you go for the infotentorial ct anatomy we can find the some other structures like vericula cestana magna cerebellar vermis look at these images and these are the uh, all ct anatomy uh, you can see this is the big uh, fourth ventricle so in front of the fourth ventricle it spawns here is the uh, cerebellum but if it go down to the infotentorium then the fourth ventricle become narrow narrow and narrow at that time you cannot uh, see <coughs> the uh, you cannot see the pons here when it's narrow structure of the fourth ventricle in front of the narrow structure it is medulla oblongata so below the fourth ventricle the fourth ventricle become narrow and in front of the narrow fourth ventricle you can see this is not the pons this is medulla oblongata so just behind the that area you can see another uh, cistern we call it cisterna magna uh, so in the uh, infotentorial ct anatomy if you uh, go above the fourth ventricle you can find the midbrain and uh, if you go through the directly through the fourth ventricle behind the cerebellum and in front of the pons and if you go down to the fourth ventricle again narrow one and then the pons disappear and uh, the medulla oblongata appears in front of the narrow part of the fourth ventricle so this is how we can uh, uh, distinguish uh, the different parts of the uh, infotentorial anatomy hope it will be very uh, useful for you if you like this videos just to click on my subscription and share it uh, on the way to your friends and the colleagues so that they can enjoy and they can understand these things well as well thank you very much for being with us